So 1031 6th Street. You got this old building here. Um, it's got these broken windows. Bunch of dead stuff on the outside. So this actually might be a building for something, but it's deep. It goes all the way back. Right next to the historical marker for the Know Nothing riots, Bloody Monday, um, which happened in 1855 in the Kentucky Lottery building in Caulfields for the unusual novelties building. Um, you got this building here. That's the, I don't know, the Beast building, I think. B-I-E-S-E. -E. Used to be a slave uh, house. It used to be a housing for slaves back in the day, which was actually what the Know Nothing riots were about. The German Catholics were aiding the Underground Railroad and the uh, WASP, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, uh, did not like the German Catholics. And German Catholics were actually my, my uh, lineage comes from Bavaria, but it's modern day Germany. So the Beast Building. So this used to be an ancient slave house back in the day. Now it's just an abandoned building. You could see through it. You could see the window on the other side. So this building would be better used if it was used instead of just sitting here deterior deteriorating and wasting away. Um, we got way too many homeless living off to the sides, not. Uh, not to be housing them in abandoned buildings such as the Beast Building, 1024 West Main Street. Not sure what this is, but it's kind of actually a mess. Um, it's a whole corner, it's like a whole warehouse has been destroyed. It's on the 18th and Main. Which got this one last remaining column that's standing. So it would be 609 or 607. 609 and 607. Uh, 28th Street. 28th and Chestnut. 611. And then you also got two buildings here. I don't know how much of these are condemned. But this one here is barely even standing up. It says 2728 on Chestnut Street. 2728. And then you got 27. 2-4 even has no copper on the side of it so to keep people from going in there and ripping all the copper out but 2-7 2-4 would be ideal well not ideal but it'd be better than sleeping outside underneath the bridge for squatting 2-7-2-4 2-7-2-8 2-7-2-4 2-7-2-8 Chestnut Street so on Plymouth and 28th Street So you got 609, and then you got 2724, and 2728. On 28th and Greenwood, next to where the Family Dollar is at, um, 28th and Greenwood is actually a historical spot. This is where a Black Power riot happened in 1968, about a month after Martin Luther King had died. Stokely Carmichael was supposed to show up. There was some police brutality. Um, there was a rally, and things. Got out of hand. Ten kids started throwing rocks. Look at this asshole. What a dickhead. If you see a fucking teal fucking van, just know he's a dickhead. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, the way the, the riots had happened, you had ten uh, kids that were throwing some rocks and they threw bottles off the rooftops to make it sound like gunshots and then. Um, then it all hell broke loose. But that was after the police like swarmed them like a SWAT team to, to shut it all down. But here, right on the corner, you got 1034. So something historical, this building could be used uh, to house the homeless. 1034, there's, there's a building over here. There's like a dental, I don't know. Fuck, I gotta research this up. But 1031 uh, 28th Street. It's, I mean, it's got a building or whatever. I don't know if it's open. It kind of looks like it's closed. 1027, 
Club 12. I mean, it's got a lock on it, so these buildings could very well be, be in use. Um, but on the outside, I guess folks are afraid of people breaking the windows and taking things, so everything's boarded up, so you can't really tell what what's allowed or what, what's in use and what isn't. But 1027, 1031, and 1034. It's three addresses on the corner of... Um, uh, See, this has a garbage can on the outside of it, but it kind of looks run down too. So 1025, 1027, 1031, and 1034 on the corner of 28th and Greenwood. Uh, where Black Power Riot happened. And there's no historical marker here. There's no historical marker to symbolize that the Black Power Riot happened right here. It says ministry, something ministries, paradise ministries. Um, but they got a window um, that's... Looks like he's been punished or shot at or something. And then you also got 24 hour surveillance it says on the outside. 1036 is that address. Uh, 2533 on Greenwood and 26th Street. Here's an abandoned building. 2533. That could be used to go the home. Hey, how you doing my man? You got the general store, 1028, um, here on the same corner of Greenwood and 26th Street. So on the corner of Greenwood and 26th. On 26th, you got 2533 and the general store, so-called general store. Looks like a really nice house, a really nice spot. It might be a general store, I don't know. There's one of many churches here in Louisville. And Christians are supposed to care for the poor. But have they? St. Peter's United Church of Christ. We almost got as many churches as we do poor people. I heard we got more foreclosed houses than we do poor people. That's ridiculous. How are we going to have more foreclosed houses than homeless? How are we going to have more foreclosed houses? What the fuck is wrong with our society? Santa Claus Lane. So, back here. Oh, it's green light. So this is uh, the main spot, Fourth and Jefferson, or Sixth and Jefferson. You got PNC Bank, PNC Plaza. You got the the city building. And you got some renovation or some shit going on, and I guess it's closed. So here you got these pretentious, uh, old style gothic city hall annex. And with one out of two Americans, how obnoxious. These huge buildings just to mock the Po. You got the PNC building here, which towered over the tents. PNC building in the Hillard Lions, Hilliard Lions. So it's next to a big wide parking lot. You got Reds, you got another big parking lot. And then you got Louisville Gardens here, which is an abandoned building. And then you got whatever this building is here. And then you got the uh, Catholic Church. Yes, fucking building. I think it might be the Republic. You got that towering building here, and then you got this towering building here on the corner. So 
somebody just wrote an article saying who who are we actually bothering because we're not bothering any of these businesses we're not bothering anybody really this park isn't being used um, if it wasn't for the tents it's a cathedral of the assumption dedicated in 1852 so it's a catholic church they probably would have been attacked during the know nothing riots to be honest it was 1852s when they established no nothing rights 1855 and then we got the Metro Development Center and then you got this building I'm not sure what it is Occupy Louisville started October 4th it's now January 7th Eighth, <laughs> and it was day 106 for the occupation. So day 106 and still going strong. Still occupying Founder Square, and Founder Square um, is an undefined property. So they don't even know if it's a public property. The city don't even know if they actually own the rights to this property. They don't know who or what or how they they uh, acquired this property. And then you had some business, Cordish. The Cordish company, who's going to buy it and uh, uh, lease it for a dollar, a dollar a year. So, truly is land of the rich, home of the slave. Mm -hmm.